We have so many talented seamstresses and sewers in our community. So the idea was to leverage that talent and ask for donations throughout the state. Intermountains reached out to the community and asked if uh, anyone would be willing to donate masks they've made at home, bring them in here to the hospital. A lot of the masks that we're getting in have the elastic that go around the ear loop, the ear loop um, elastic, and that's what we prefer. They basically come in here and you see this bin behind me. Uh, they can drive by, drop them off anytime they like. This is a really critical project to really reserve the PPE the surgical, the procedural masks, reserve that PPE for our frontline caregivers who are taking care of patients. As we receive them in, we are um, hygienically laundering them so that they can be returned to the hospital um, allergen free and ready to be used. It means that everybody has a place in taking care of our patients and everybody can do something to help take care of our patients. We're using a metal detector to make sure that there's no pins or needles or anything that are in the masks that are being donated. Um, one of the other issues that we're seeing is that people are doing a great job of trying to put in the little nose piece that can you know, clamp down over your nose. But uh, once those get washed, they become um, a hazard where they're poking through the material. So we just want to really thank everybody that's been bringing these masks in. Here at the hospital, you know, everybody knows there's been a little bit of a shortage throughout the nation. And so these masks make a big difference. It's going to help us as far as like materials people make sure that we can get everybody in the hospital the equipment they need to stay safe. A lot of us are feeling helpless right now that we ha don't have a role in, in combating the virus or responding to this pandemic, but even every little bit helps. It'll be used here at the hospital for patients and for caregivers to help keep them safe. It's gonna keep our doctors safe, it's gonna keep our patients safe, it's gonna keep visitors safe. And it makes a really big difference to us here. And it also lets us know that the community really cares.